Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam willis Hovey. Hello, and welcome to Unity with Pam. My name is Brooklyn Jones, and today I'm interviewing my grandmother, Buffy Moore, who I call Bibi. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you, Brooklyn? Good. Now, I know you have a special talent. Can you please share that talent with us? Well, actually, the talent that I have would be doing artwork. I guess you would call me an artist, even though I never really call myself an artist. But I do love painting and drawing in my spare time. Okay. How, do you get in how did you get interested in doing art? Well, my mom is an artist, and by the time I was two years old, she had a paintbrush in my hand, and so really I didn't have a choice, but I've really learned to love it. Did you go to school to learn how to draw? Actually, I did. I, um, I moved to New York. My mom moved us when I was 16 years old. She went to get her master's degree in art, and I attended an art high school. However, at that time, I really wasn't interested in pursuing art as a career, so it was just kind of fun, a fun thing for me to do. But as I got older, I really got more into it. What type of art do you work, work with? Um, actually, as you can see, I have quite a few um, types of art that I do. I, I use acrylic paint mostly. Um, I paint on wood, glass. Um, actually, I'm painting some shoes right now, canvas shoes, and uh, I can paint on about anything. I use a lot of uh, color is my strong point, and I'm known for people who know me, I'm known for the glitter in my, my artwork. What is your favorite thing to do, to paint? Well, one of my favorite things to paint, um, I love the beach, and we've gone to the beach many times, and I, um, I like to paint beach scenes and sea creatures, hula girls, and mermaids. I really like mermaids, and I also paint some of my favorite performers, such as Tupac and Nelly, and, uh, but I can paint just about anything that someone requests. Can you share some of that artwork with us today? Okay. This is some of the stuff that I brought. This is my, some of my older stuff, a picture of Tupac that I painted probably 10 years ago, and a picture of Nelly that I was actually lucky enough to have him sign one night when I met him. Um, I'm a big Auburn fan, but I will paint Georgia and Alabama if I have to. I tease people and tell them it really, really hurts my hand when I have to paint those Alabama elephants. But anyway, these are some of the stuff I got into last summer. Um, gluing, this is wood, and then I glued beads on there. And I did fish and crabs, octopus, um, just all kinds of sea creatures. And of course, this is a mermaid. This is probably my favorite piece that I've done in a long time. And I like to find pieces of wood that are already cut out. I don't cut the shapes out myself. I'm a big thrift store person. And I found this fish shape. And so I glued the beads and painted. And I, um, I asked all my friends to save their old jewelry for me. And that's what I use it for. So. It's just, uh, you never know what I'm going to be working on. But whatever it is, I really have fun doing it. Okay. Well, thank you for coming out here and letting me interview you today. Thank you. It's been my privilege. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Come on in to Sugars for a sweet taste of Southern cooking. You will be taken back to Sunday dinner at Grandma's house with everybody. Daily special serving fried chicken, collards, black eyed peas, also melt in your mouth cornbread. You will want to ask for seconds. Also try one of our homemade desserts. You will be in sweet, sweet heaven. Sugars offers catering for all your corporate church and family gatherings. They would do all the work and save you all the trouble. 
Sugar's a taste of Southern cooking. Is your weight preventing you from leading a happy, healthy life? West Georgia Health in LaGrange is the only accredited center for weight loss surgery in the region to offer all three surgical options, and your procedure may be covered by insurance. To learn more about your weight loss surgery options, visit WGHealth.org. So West Georgia Health, so healthy together. Hello, this is Aura on the Unity with Pam Kids broadcast show, and I'm here interviewing my dad, Alvin Davis. How are you, Daddy? I'm pretty good. How about yourself, Ra? I'm pretty good. Is I if I ask you some questions? No. No questions, yeah. <laughs> Question one. What was your life like as a kid? Uh, pretty cool. Uh, I was used to collect stuff. When I was a kid, like toys, G.I. Joes, and Transformers, and stereos and stuff. I was pretty collector as a kid. And you still are. What is your job? Uh, I DJ, I'm a musician, and I work for an accountant bookkeeping firm. Okay. What inspired you to do DJing? Uh... When I was growing up, it was a group called Run DMC, and they had a DJ called Jam Master J. Jam Master J never used tape, never used nothing. He always used turntables. And to me, when I saw him in concert, that's like, that's what I wanted to do. That sounds pretty awesome to me. What is different from when you were a kid to now when you're an adult? What you mean, what, what you mean, like? Your lifestyle. I got kids. That's the difference. <laughs> uh, you got to be more responsible as an adult than you are as a kid. Mm. Then I guess you might have already answered my next question. I was going to ask, how different was your life from now, from then, to now you have kids? Uh, more responsibility. I mean, you got to be a bigger, I guess, role model for your kids. And you're going to want something better than what you have for your kids. So I guess just responsibility. Well, thank you for letting me interview you today. All right. Appreciate it. Is your weight preventing you from leading a happy, healthy life? West Georgia Health in LaGrange is the only accredited center for weight loss surgery in the region to offer all three surgical options, and your procedure may be covered by insurance. To learn more about your weight loss surgery options, visit WGHealth.org. So West Georgia Health, so healthy together. Hello, I'm Carla Etheridge from uh, Uganda, a missionary there. I'm just asking today if you could please help us. We need to feed hungry children and we need to send them to school. We would appreciate your help so much because God cares for widows and orphans. If you would just send it uh, financial support, it would really be helpful to us. We will be praying for you and I hope you will be praying for me. We thank you very much. God bless you all. Hi, and welcome back to Unity with Pam. Today I am interviewing Mr. Andre Stratford, or my stepdad. How are you doing today, Mr. Andre? Fine, how you doing, son? I'm gonna ask you four questions. First question, where were you born? I was born in Chevrolet, Maryland. Okay. Second question, what do you do? I work as a telecommunications uh, technician for the uh, U.S. government as a contractor. Third question, what did you want to do? Uh, before telecom, uh, I wanted to be a pilot, but uh, that wasn't an easy thing to do. I joined the Marine Corps after high school, and uh, when I was in the military, that's when I learned all my basic telecom skills, so I stayed with that when I came out. Last question, how long do you plan to do your job? Uh, I plan to do my job, I guess, until I retire. I like, I like my work. It's fun, challenging every day, so I plan on retiring. We will be back with another scholar and another interviewer. Hello, I'm Carla Etheridge from uh, Uganda, 
a missionary there. I'm just asking today if you could please help us. We need to feed hungry children and we need to send them to school. We would appreciate your help so much because God cares for widows and orphans. If you would just send it uh, financial support, it would really be helpful to us. We will be praying for you and I hope you will be praying for me. We thank you very much. God bless you all. When your child is sick, you take them to the doctor, right? Well, at Zoe Pediatrics, we don't just take care of sick kids. We want to keep the healthy ones healthy. At Zoe Pediatrics, we're in the business of prevention. We would love if when our children are 100 years old, they could say they were never sick a day in their life because of what they learned at Zoe Pediatrics. Don't wait for sickness. Children don't have to be sick to get better. Good doctors treat illness. Really great doctors prevent disease. Zoe Pediatrics, 10th Avenue at 17th Street. Looking for a different kind of church service? Instead of your Sunday suit in a row of pews, Midtown Connection offers a cup of coffee and some real conversation about who Christ is and what being a Christ follower means. Midtown Connection is located inside Waldrop Memorial Baptist Church on Hilton Avenue, right in the heart of Midtown Columbus. Join friends over a cup of coffee this Sunday and enjoy uplifting music and a positive Christ-centered message. Midtown Connection at Waldrop Memorial Baptist Church. The way worship should be. Hello, we are back with Unity of Sam, and today I have Miss Tamla Hamilton, aka my mother. How are you doing today, Miss Hamilton? Fine, how are you, kindness? Good. Okay, my first question today is, if you were to work in a big restaurant, what would you do? Well, I will manage. You know, I've been managing for 15 years, off and on. Um, it's very challenging challenging um, to run a restaurant and it's especially as a big establishment um, you have more uh, responsibility you have more people you have to um, take care of and you have the guests that's <clears throat> your main priority to make sure that the food is quality and you know to make sure the employees are being managed correctly you know so it's a very hectic job when you're working in a big restaurant versus a fast food restaurant hmm. okay my second question is, what made you want to be a manager at big restaurants? Well, I always was a, um, me personally, I always was a person that liked to run everything, so you know that anyway. So uh, as a little girl, <clears throat> I've always watched my mother, my grandfather, and my uh, grandmother and my mother cook all the time. So I always had a passion for cooking for people and the hospitality that they gave to us when we was young girls. Uh, and my grandma used to cook every Sunday, so I said, oh, okay, that's what I want to do when I grow up. So when I was in high school, I took a business management when I was in high school. So I pursued that career when I got older. So it's, it's a passion I like to do. I love to cook, and I love to feed people. I like to see people happy. Hmm. Okay. My other question is, when I was young, I went to Luna Head Start. When I was young, you always like used to come in and volunteer. <clears throat> How did you manage your time as a mother and as a manager at your jobs? Well, first and foremost, mother, my mother duty is always number one. Second is my job. So when they asked me to volunteer, I would make time around my schedule to make sure I took care of my kids. That was my main thing, make sure that you always taking care of you and your sister. So uh, I worked around that area. So um, my days off, I would be at your school or at your sister's school to make sure that you all were doing what you're supposed to do in school. And also just showing my uh, motherly duties as helping the school, you know, as a mother and a parent. Mm -hmm. I didn't let it involve in my job. I went around my job to make sure you all was taken care of. Hmm. Anything else? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. We'll be back with another scholar on Unity with Sam. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs, smoked fresh on our grill daily, or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites, and don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price, with three locations to serve you. My grades were bad. I would like get D's and C's. It just, it got worse and worse and worse throughout the years. 
I mean, it was just rough focusing on school when your mother, who acts like a child, is somebody you have to take care of. I appeared to be doing good at my school life, but if you would see me at home, it would have been a completely different story. There are students who need somebody. You don't have to have the answer. They just want you to listen to them. So once you figure that out, it's good. If something was going on at home, we would go just stop by Miss Liberty's office and talk to her. They can trust someone, and it could be the first person they've ever trusted in their life. I feel very empowered to make positive choices for my students. If you looked at my transcript, you can see a huge difference. Help us change the picture of education for more than 1.3 million kids every year. Visit communitiesandschools.org. I hear people say we can't save every kid, but I, I think that we can. Hello, my name is Vincent B. Jones II. Today I have the distinct pleasure of interviewing Miss Santoria Jones, aka my mother. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Sure. Question number one. Growing up in southwest Georgia, what was your childhood like? I had a wonderful childhood. I actually grew up in a small town, Camilla, Georgia, in Mitchell County. Um, we had a farm, so we had livestock and crops. So I kind of lived off of the land, just enjoyed just simple things, eating plums off the tree, eating blackberries off the blackberry bushes, just having fun, just getting lost on the dirt roads, um, just, just enjoying my childhood. Question number two, what was one of your fondest memories while in elementary school? One of my fondest element, uh, memories of elementary school was being in third grade. We had a career day and we had to make something and present something that we wanted to do uh, when we grew up. So I chose to make a nurse's cap out of a piece of paper. My teacher was very impressed and since then I think that's what kind of inspired me to continue to pursue a career in nursing. Question number three, what was your first job and how old were you at the time? I've had several jobs. My first outside job was grading tomatoes. I did do a lot of uh, work on the farm, so I considered that as my, my working. And I was probably about 14 or 15 years old. But my first inside job, I was a waitress at Pizza Hut. Question number four. Leading up to the end of high school, what were your goals? My goal was mainly to complete high school then pursue uh, a career in nursing in which I chose to go to Albany State College. Um, and then after that, I wanted to get married and have a family. Question number five, how has nursing changed your life? Nursing has changed my life because it has allowed me to do what I enjoy doing, caring for people. It has uh, helped me to make new friends, uh, meet new families. Um, it has given me a flexible schedule to be there with my family at home. Um, and it's just, just allowed me to do what I, what I enjoy. Thank you. That is all the time we have. And once again, thank you, Mom, for sharing your story. Next, we will have another scholar interview another guest. My grades were bad. I would like get D's and C's. It just, it got worse and worse and worse throughout the years. I mean, it was just rough focusing on school when your mother, who acts like a child, is somebody you have to take care of. I appeared to be doing good at my school life, but if you would see me at home, it would have been a completely different story. There are students who need somebody. You don't have to have the answer. They just want you to listen to them. So once you figure that out, it's good. If something was going on at home, we would go just stop by Miss Liberty's office and talk to her. They can trust someone, and it could be the first person they've ever trusted in their life. I feel very empowered to make positive choices for my students. If you looked at my transcript, you can see a huge difference. Help us change the picture of education for more than 1.3 million kids every year. Visit communitiesandschools.org. I hear people say we can't save every kid, but I, I think that we can. I am ba we're back with I am Azazel. This is my uncle Paul. How you doing? Good. I see you work at Kia. Yes, I do. What time do you go to work? Uh, I get up about four thirty, leave about five. Just work starts around six a.m. Wow. How long have you worked at Kia? 
uh, six years next month. Mm, nice. Which areas at Kia have you worked? I started in the weld shop, worked there for about three and a half years, uh, doing welding, putting doors on, uh, fenders, putting, piecing the car together to go to paint. And then uh, I transferred to the GA department uh, back in uh, the door line, uh, putting the interior parts of the door together to ship to the final product. Hmm, nice. What is your favorite thing about Kia? Uh, right now I'm on a, uh, what they call a pilot team. Uh, we launch uh, new models. Uh, the like, 26 Optima we're working on right now. Uh, it'll launch in September. So those projects are really nice because we can see all the new car stuff before it actually gets to go to uh, the consumer. What is the hardest part about working at Kia? Uh, some of the hardest part of working at Kia is probably the um, repetitiveness that we do every day. Same old thing almost every day. Same cars over and over again for eight hours can get uh, kind of tough. And that's all we have time for. And we will be back with another scholar and another person to be interviewed. Come on in to Sugars for a sweet taste of Southern cooking. You will be taken back to Sunday dinner at Grandma's house with everybody. Daily special serving fried chicken, collards, black eyed peas, also melt in your mouth cornbread. You will want to ask for seconds. Also try one of our homemade desserts. You will be in sweet, sweet heaven. Sugars offers catering for all your corporate, church, and family gatherings. They would do all the work and save you all the trouble. Sugars, a taste of Southern cooking. Welcome back to Unit Pam. I'm here with my dad from Kia Motors. So we're going to start off with some basic, basic questions today. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in Spokane, Washington, to my mom in 1974. What, what is your current position at Kia? Current position is a launch team for the 2016 Optima. Cool. What, which Kia models do you work on? Uh, we do two Kia models there, the uh, Sorento and the Optima. Besides work, what do you like to do for fun? I like to camp and fish. Probably uh, camping the most and fishing would be second. How many times have you left the country for work? Uh, in the last year, three times, but overall four uh, to Seoul, Korea. Four times in the last six years. Is your weight preventing you from leading a happy, healthy life? West Georgia Health in LaGrange is the only accredited center for weight loss surgery in the region to offer all three surgical options, and your procedure may be covered by insurance. To learn more about your weight loss surgery options, visit WGHealth.org. So West Georgia Health, so healthy together. Hello, my name is Jasmine, bringing you, bringing you to Unity with Pam. Now I am interviewing your special, my special guest, Miss Pam. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, Jasmine. How are you? Good. How was your experience on Unity with Pam? Oh, it's been wonderful. Ten years of doing TV, meeting all kinds of people, and now uh, doing children here at Wesley Heights has been an awesome blessing. What do you do when you're not doing anything? Well, sleep, try to rest and recoup from everything that I do. Just, I've learned to appreciate, when you get to be my age, you will learn to appreciate doing nothing called rest. What made you want to start your own TV show? That's a deep question, Jasmine, but a good one. Um, trying to promote my church, promote my parents, help them, um, just getting things out in the community, just letting people see diversity, different things, and also I like people to see children doing what's right. So I'm glad to have a show where I can promote children like you that's doing right things. My last question is, do you ever considering retiring and handing your show down to one of your fellow broadcasters? Yes, I do. I look forward to doing what Dr. King's children have done. They have, you know, Dr. King and his wife, Miss Coretta, and they've passed on, but they left a legacy behind for us. And they, they were the trailblazers 
of unity. And when I get to be that point, that's why I have you guys, you special children. I pray that one day y'all will take my show. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for being my special scholar. Now we'll be back with another scholar. When your child is sick, you take them to the doctor, right? Well, at Zoe Pediatrics, we don't just take care of sick kids. We want to keep the healthy ones healthy. At Zoe Pediatrics, we're in the business of prevention. We would love if when our children are 100 years old, they could say they were never sick a day in their life because of what they learned at Zoe Pediatrics. Don't wait for sickness. Children don't have to be sick to get better. Good doctors treat illness. Really great doctors prevent disease. Zoe Pediatrics, 10th Avenue at 17th Street. Welcome to Unity with Pam, and today I'm interviewing Miss Johnson. Yes. Uh, I have four questions for you today, Miss Johnson. Uh, my first question is, what made you want to help students? Well, I've been in mental health for 11 years, and I felt like we were missing a piece of mental health because we really didn't know what the kids did at school and how they performed. So I decided, well, after 11 years, I'm going to come into the school system and see what connects that piece together what make kids react to certain situations in certain times. That's good. My second question is, when, when you work after you get off, do you ever have time to go party or have fun? Well, I don't party. I have a 13-year-old daughter who's in Girl Scouts, so I've been a troop leader for seven years. My daughter will receive her Silver Award May 3rd, so I have time with my family. I have a granddaughter that's two. I do a lot of community service. I volunteer with Red Cross. I do Girl Scouts. I volunteer at my church. I do things like that. So I'm in the community every day. That's good too. Um, when you are at school, do you ever think about having your own time alone? No, I don't because I'm here for the kids and I really love them. Because I do a lot of pull-out teaching, so I do first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So I think all the kids are my kids. They're just their kids and I love it. I love what I do. I love the kids because you guys are going to make me one day shine because I can say, I know that boy. I know that little girl. I taught him or I chased him down the hall, but I like <laughs> what I do and I love being here at Wesley Heights. I'm glad you're here. Uh, my last question is, do you love your job and your career? I love my job. Um, teaching is a career, but I think my first choice, I really would like to be a school counselor because I think with counseling, that's my field in mental health, and I think I can connect with the kids more in counseling. But I love teaching, but I think counseling will be that part that I really want to connect with the children. That's all the time we have for today. Uh, well, this is the end of Unity with Pound. See you. Nice interviewing you, Mr. Thank Jackson. you. Unity, unity. Thank you for watching Unity with Pam. If you would like to be a sponsor, please contact us or visit unitywithpam.org.